Hey guys, so I'm outside today. This won't focus, there we go. And I'm vlogging for the first time, so forgive me if I'm all over the place. Um, but today I am going to an event. It's a natural hair event and it's this YouTuber, her name is actually Ashley. And she's throwing an event for us naturalistas. We're doing a product swap. So this should be interesting. And sorry, I'm, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm not used to holding the camera and I had to get out of the public street because I feel so weird. Like I feel like people are gonna stare at me. But yeah, we're downtown Boston right now. And I'm on the other I'm on the other side of Newberry Street. So yeah, I'm on my way now and I will be there soon. I'll try to vlog when I go in. But yeah, I'm gonna see the event. I get to see another fellow YouTuber who's actually quite popular so I'm kind of excited and nervous because I'm by myself but um, yeah come with me and join this journey with me so how it works is when um, you know a few more people get here we're just gonna open the floor to you guys and myself and Lisa Lisa where are you somewhere she's in the bathroom there's Lisa okay. um, Behind the tables, just taking your tickets. If you guys have any questions about products, as you can see, there's tons of products here. Some products just don't work for everybody, so it's okay. Like I was talking to Lisa in the car, and for example, like we like certain products, and our hairs are to totally different. Like our textures are completely different. So it's not about your texture that makes a product work for you. It's much, much more. I know enough where it's okay when a product doesn't work for you. Don't feel discouraged and think like, oh man, like my hair is just trash because it doesn't work for me. Like this is why we're having this event, and that this is why there will be another one later this year. I'm thinking around like summertime, you know, your hair kind of switches up in the summertime, so maybe the end of summer, uh, swap out some products that you're like, it didn't work for me, or you know um, there's something better out there for you. So how it works is you just come up here, you browse the wide selection that we got going on here. I have everything from co-washes all the way down to oils and edge control. So if you came here just looking for deep conditioners, there's a section there for you. So what you're gonna do is just give us one of your tickets and then you'll take your product. And um, at the end, uh, whatever's left, you know, we might give away, you guys can take some extras if you see, but it'll be donated to uh, the teens at the Boys and Girls Club of Manchester. I was there, I worked there for almost 10 years, and I feel like teens get no love. I feel like, you know, they're, like you go to high school and they're like, eh, you got it, do, you know, do your own thing. And a lot of girls have questions about their hair. That's an awkward time. I'm sure I'm not the only one, like, Middle school, high school is an awkward time, especially like with how you look, you're like, you know, you're going through puberty, but you're like, what's going on? So um, I always go there like once a month and bring products and uh, share my tips and just talk to the girls there. So whatever's left over, I'll bring to them. They already know, so they're very, very excited. And um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions, I'm here. And if you have any hair questions, Sharita's is here. What I wanted to just explain to you guys, there's a wall here that says share your curl tips. That's all you have to do, just help another curly girl out. We've had a few events last year. What? I, you know, you were, came to one of them. We had like one or two events. Uh, but it's not enough. There has to be more. So this year it's definitely going to change. So this is the first one of 2018. Hope we have a good time. Okay, okay. Yep. So um, once you work it out. The rest, I should have seen it last month. It was I've never seen in my life before. Yeah. Right now, I'm gonna have Sharita. I know you. 
you guys have been chatting with her for a little bit, but she's going to just chat, um, take any questions that you guys have about hair. Um, Sharita, if you don't know, a few of you guys came in. She's a, the owner and the head stylist at The Loft Studio in Medford, not too far from here. Um, she's done, uh, she went and washed my hair, gave me this detox, I didn't even know what that was. And she, it was amazing. I, I what, what, what time was that when I did a 12 day wash and go? So my hair was yeah. a little dirty. And yeah. so she did a detox, felt really good, and she did a wash and go with a cute twist on the side. Then I don't know if you guys saw my um, mohawk that I did. Mm -hmm. I did it on the brains. That was Sharita. She did that. So I literally gave her this picture, and I'm like, Sharita, this is so dope. Can we do this? She got it on point. It was perfect. So Sharita, stand up. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask Sharita. And um, after this, I'm really excited. We're going to be doing a giveaway for her salon. So. Sharita Loft Hair Studio. I've been in Medford for three years, but I've been in the hair industry for over 20 years. So I've been doing hair for a long time, and natural hair has always been a passion of mine because I'm natural and I've always been natural. So it's always been something that I've been very passionate about, and I just love working on natural hair. So if you have any questions, any comments, feel free. Because we kind of talked about length retention. Um, so someone had said that their hair never grows. Yeah. <laughs> and I said that all hair grows. How many agree with that? Okay, so everybody here grows. That's not the issue. The issue that we have is length retention. So there is a difference. So your hair is growing out of your scalp, but you're not retaining the length on your head. So at the same rate that your hair is growing, it's breaking. And it could be because over manipulation, the hair is dry, um, you know, you're just not taking care of your hair properly, so that can cause breakage. And so that's why you're not seeing the length retention. On average, it's in half an inch a month. So that equi equates to six inches a year. So if your hair has been the same length, January 2017, you're at January 2018, and your length is pretty much the same, <coughs> then you need to check your regimen. You need to find out what's going on with your hair because mm -hmm. your hair is breaking. Mm -hmm. And that's true. It's funny Cherie says that because she knows I've been dealing with like, who knows what with my hair. So my hair, I don't know, like last year if you saw my hair, my hair was really tight and like my curls were really, really, like I would say I had, if we did the hair chart, I had like, 3C, 4A in the back, like going on. Now I'm what, like 3B, 3C, maybe yeah. a little bit. Um, so she's been helping me out with that. But that was another issue that I had was length retention and um, just my routine wasn't right. So it's okay to switch up your routine. Yes. I know once you find it, you're like, yes, I found it, this works. But like six months later, a year later, like your hair might be like, eh, I need something else or maybe the product that you're using. Like I feel like my hair like tends to change. Like products that I use when I first went natural, I cannot use anymore. I'm like, this doesn't even work. Like, I love the curl enhancing smoothie, but like before that was like my go-to wash and go product. Now I'm like, oh, I might need to add something else. Hey. Um, so um, it's totally okay. So Hey guys, I made it back from the event. I'm back home in my office room here and it was really good. I really liked it. Um, I got to meet actually Ashley. She's really nice and really sweet and um, I met some other girls. I, <laughs> to be honest, like I'm so bad at like uh, networking, hobnobbing, all that stuff, but I don't think it went too bad. Um, yeah, and um, all of the girls are really nice. Everyone in there was beautiful. Like, it was ridiculous. We got goodie bags. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to show you what I got in the goodie bag. Oops, and it's falling over. Okay, so I got this detangling brush by Texture Pro. And I guess it's supposed to, it's meant to be used on wet hair. That's what it looks like. Um, yeah, by Wet Brush. Um, it's not supposed to snag your hair. So, 
I got a new brush, guys. Um, also from the same. Ooh, I, I can't vlog. See, look at me. I'm all. I cannot vlog. <laughs> um, from the same company, I got a detangling comb, which I like. This one. This is like. It looks like it has a silicone texture to it. Um, so that it's supposed to glide through your hair, not snag on it. And the uh, I got the typical. Uh, yeah, I have this comb that everyone and their mama has, and I stopped using it because it snags my hair because of the little. Um, in between each teeth, there's a. I don't even know what you call it. There's a line there. That's where it snags on my hair. So I stopped using that and I've only been using my Denman brush for that reason. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to see about this um, new brush and new comb. Um, let me just take everything out here. I, in the goodie bag, I got the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. This isn't the best product for my hair, so I may give this to someone that uses it my mom I probably just give it to her because she uses this um, but I'm not a big fan of this product um, but it I mean I used to use it all the time I liked it back in the day back in the day a few years ago I liked it but I don't like it that much anymore so I'll probably give that to my mom and then we have which I'm excited for um, I've tried some of these products because of my mom because she has them in her, she's a product junkie. She's the one that should have went to this event. <laughs> to be honest, she would have loved it. But um, yeah, there's a, this is a Jane Carter Solution hair kit. There's a bunch of products in here. Let me see, let me see what's in here. It looks like it's all travel size stuff. So um, we have a cleansing and conditioning co-wash. Interesting. Um, a revive and repair hair mask. I haven't used a hair mask in a while, so I'll be trying this. Um, frizz free styling smoother, so it's like this is a styling product. Um, slumber party creamy, creamy leave in conditioner. I love my leave in conditioners, so I'll definitely be trying this one. Um, renewable difference detox shampoo. Um, I'm not crazy about shampoos. I like what I like. I have the Kinky Curly and the, uh, what's that brand called that I always forget? I have another moisturizing shampoo, but I have two shampoos, that's it. But I'll be trying this just to give it a try. Um, and then we have the Complex 4 Replenish and Repair Oil. <clears throat> so yeah, that's everything right there. I almost forgot to show you guys the stuff I got from Swap. Like, that was the whole point of going. What? You say you need my help? Yes. Why? Because I'm Alright. <laughs> so, yeah, I forgot to show you guys um, what I swapped out. Um, I didn't show what I brought to the Swap that I was giving away, but these are the products that I got from the swap and one of them is the Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel. I don't really need, I don't need another gel. I just wanted to try this and the value of this product, I don't know exactly how much, but I know it's $20 or a little bit over that. So <laughs> I thought it was worth it to try. And then this product I've never seen before, but I was interested in it. It's called Can't Believe It's Not Honey. It's a, a deep conditioning. It says agave deep conditioning hair caramel. So um, I don't know if you've ever seen like the hair caramels, like the Ete, I forgot the name of the brand on Instagram, but um, it's supposed to like really soften your hair and new growth and um, just make it really um, buttery soft so that's why I was interested in this this is basically what this like the same thing as that other product so I will be probably trying this one tomorrow since I am washing my hair um, but yeah the event was really fun 
I had a great time. I hope my footage isn't horrible. I tried to get as much as I could, but still be in the moment at the same time, not be vlogging the whole time. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I had fun. I hope to do it again. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini vlog. Yeah, if you're interested in seeing me vlog more, if I go somewhere, let me know down below. Comment down below and make sure you like this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.